This is the new uh, improvement for the power flow for Cessna 172s and Cessna 175s with Lycoming 0320 or 0360 conversions. And it's an improved cabin heat. Uh, our cabin heat, which looks like that shroud right there, has been in existence since 2003 and for 95% of the customers worked out just fine. But 5% of them were saying, well, gosh, we really wish we could have a little more heat. We're in the north, the great north, or a really cold environment, and we didn't feel like we were quite getting as much as the original exhaust did. So it's taken us a long time because we didn't have much room to work with, but we finally hit the aha. And this is a major difference is the original exhaust system, the power flow, had an input right there that's going through the forward baffle, and the output was right there. The problem is the air would come in this way, kind of come through and take the shortcut. It missed this entire section over here. So we missed out on the opportunity to get a lot of heat from it. This new version, as you can see here, has the output over here. And this output over here is a lot further away than down there. And as a result, when the air is coming into this, it's coming in and we actually have a, a, a a block, a dam right there. And the air has to go the long way around these tubes and comes out ultimately down there. So let's look at this. Now, this should be a three inch output, but we cannot fit three inches in this space. The carburetor would be right there. So we provide, and you'll see that in another segment, a way to convert from this two inch output to the three inch that your cabin heat is expecting. On a Cessna 172, the, out, the cabin heat mixing valve will be right around over here. We don't have a 172 here, so it's a little uh, out of proportion. But this is the whole exhaust system as you see it there. That's the cold air input. And if you look inside, you can start to see the tubes. What you can't see, there's the baffle. There's a dam on the inside. It's a vertical piece of metal. It's on both sides. You see it on the top and you see it on the bottom. And actually, I think you can see it right there. That's the air dam. So we're forcing the air that comes in to go in, come in, and then it has to work around the dam, and then it ultimately comes out in the very back there. Whereas the original Cessna 172, take a look through there. Now you don't see any tubes because there's no collector in here, but you can see it had a pretty great straight pathway all the way through. So what the back of it looks like. There's the output over here. In actuality, the output starts right here and it's kind of oval and it comes out. This is the adapter setup that we're going to give you with your exhaust system with the improved cabin heat. This is the two inch hose that's going to come off of the right side cabin heat output. You're going to install it by sliding this hose on with the clamp. At the other end, and you trim that to the appropriate length, you're going to slide this adapter in it because that's two inches and this side is three. On this side, you're going to slide your existing scat that's coming from the firewall where your cabin heat mixing valve is, and you'll use your existing hose. So this way it's an adapter, it's in line, and it allows you to transition from the two inch output up to the three inch, which is what your aircraft has. Okay, so this is how it might look on an installation on your Cessna 172. The supplied two inch scats here, clamped on. It has an oval, so you squash the scat a little. And then you pick the length. Now on a 172, this is firewall would normally be like back where my hand is, but you pick the suitable length, you go to the adapter. That's one end is the two inch. The other side of the adapter, this is three inch. And this is your original three inch that's going to your, your mixing valve where this hand is, is about where it really is. And so it's whatever routing works best for you and you just trim the length of the scat as necessary. And some people might say or wonder, okay, that's two inches, that's three inches. Am I losing a lot of air? Well, the truth of the matter is 
We're slowing down the air just a little bit here, but we honestly believe that the volume is going to be sufficient in the cabin and it's going to be so much hotter that you're going to prefer that. So that should be a really good improvement. Our testing showed a significant improvement and you'll see that in the video.